Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk all about luxury bags and my luxury bag collection. I wanted to share this video with you just because I love watching these type of videos on YouTube myself so I thought maybe you guys might be interested as well. Before we get into the video please subscribe to my channel if you like these type of videos. Give the video a thumbs up. I would love to know if you're into these type of videos and uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it. I'm going to kind of separate the bags into three different categories. There's going to be the small leather bags and um, medium sized and large ones. So I'm going to start off with the small leather bags and those are usually um, my crossbody bags. I absolutely love wearing crossbodies. Whenever you can see me out and about running errands or at an event, I wear a crossbody bag just because I love having my hands free to eat, to take photos, to be on my phone and so on. One of my favorite bags is this Chloe Georgia bag and I've gotten this last year. I think it's absolutely stunning. It kind of has these two flaps right here and oh there's a lipstick inside. <laughs> it is quite roomy which I absolutely love and it definitely everything fits in here. So my wallet, my phone, battery bank, makeup, things like that. And it also has this smaller flap in the front here. I never actually use it. So yeah, I only ever use the big compartment. I love it. It is black, so it goes with everything. I love the gold accent on it and the strap is adjustable. Next up, we have this metallic bag. And as you will see, I quite love metallic bags. I think um, a metallic is almost like a neutral for me and this is kind of this rose gold metallic bag. It is Jimmy Choo and the bag style is called Lila. So quite uh, distinct Jimmy Choo features on this bag which I absolutely love and it fits quite a lot. Still have it stuffed. You can see it fits quite a bit. I can usually fit keys, wallet or a change holder a battery bank, a lipstick and a compact. So this is usually all I need when I'm just out and about running a few errands. What I like about this bag too is uh, that it has this metal kind of chain, but the top, that part that actually hits your shoulder is leather. So it makes it very comfortable. And like I said, the metallic look is just my favorite. I think you can really make something special out of a really simple outfit. So I've included this Tory Burch clutch in this video. I don't really use it that much anymore and it was definitely one of my first kind of designer bags or clutches. And uh, yeah, I think it's this kind of neutral color. That is why I hung on to it until now. And I hope that one day these type of clutches will come back in style and uh, I'll be able to use it because I quite like it. I always use it quite a bit just because it is so roomy. You can definitely fit a lot. And like you can see, like this clutch is almost bigger than like some of the cross bodies. So quite interesting. But the thing is you always have to hold it with your hand or kind of like under your arm. So not the most comfortable and convenient thing, but I do still like the style. It's very plain and simple. So that's the reason I still have it. And now we get to this bag. Honestly, it looks way worse in real life. And this is the Parenzo Schuler PS11 bag. I was obsessed with this bag. I really, really wanted it. And I fell in love with it in this kind of silver color. So I ordered it. And to be honest, I didn't wear it for a while. And once I started wearing it, I started seeing these bubbles forming on the material. You can kind of see it right here. And eventually, the silver coating peeled off. I will show you in the back. So you could literally rip off the entire coating and this kind of pale mint color showed itself underneath. I literally have it on my hand right now. So as much as I love this bag and the style, it fits quite a bit. Like you can see, it's quite a roomy bag. It definitely is not a nice bag. I'll probably do another video after I finish this one of my favorite and my least favorite bags. You can imagine in which category this will land. 
The next category is one of my favorite categories as well. I guess like all bags are my favorite. I don't know why I keep saying favorite. Anyways, this is the medium sized bags and I do love wearing these type of bags when I go to a meeting because it can fit a notebook, all my essentials that I need, probably a little more makeup than I would usually put into a crossbody and also some other stuff. I'm gonna start with my Chanel and uh, this is the Easy Set bag. I've reviewed this bag and kind of did like an unboxing and story time for this bag. I'm gonna link the video here. And you will see and hear that this is definitely a very special bag to me just because it was one of my very first very expensive bags. So I absolutely love this bag. I love the double chain right here. You can wear it long, you can wear it short, and it is super roomy inside. I do keep this bag super stuffed. You can literally see it's stuffed to the brim right now. Just because the way I was keeping it before, which is a little bit more lightly stuffed, it kept having kind of indentations and I was like really upset. So <laughs> I do keep it more stuffed. But as you can see, super, super roomy inside. And it kind of has this back pocket here as well. So the black is just like a very kind of classic color. And like I said, the black and silver combination is so, so nice and classic for me. Now we will move on to a, another metallic bag. And this is the Jimmy Choo Locket Petit. And uh, I fell in love with this bag when we were living in Berlin. And it seems like a lot more people carry Jimmy Choo bags in Europe. And I kind of, yeah, just put it on my wish list and was on the lookout for it. I opted for this metallic color to kind of replace my Parenza Schuler PS11 bag just because that one was dying. And I love the size of it. It also has a double strap, but it is a little different. I love the detail of the Jimmy Choo with this closure right here and uh, the extra bit of chain too. Just gives it a little bit of an edge. And again, we have the very traditional Jimmy Choo kind of hardware on it. The bag is super stiff, which is nice. And it kind of has these reinforcement like metal braces right here, which really helps the bag keep its shape. And you don't necessarily have to stuff it that much. Like as you can see, like I can kind of like bend it without it actually losing its shape. And again, quite roomy. I love wearing this bag like for any type of occasion. I have worn it in place of a crossbody too, just because it is not as big as some of the medium sized bags, but also a little bit bigger than a crossbody. I love the closure on this bag as well. It's very distinctly Jimmy Choo, and um, I think it's a very cool style. It's like classic and um, edgy at the same time. Next up, we have my Chanel Le Boy. This boy bag, honestly, like definitely also one of my favorites. It's kind of my baby. It was my dream to own this bag and um, my husband made this dream a reality. I've also shared a video on this bag previously. So I'll link the video here so you can have a look. But this might be like my most worn bag, like out of all my expensive bags. It is such a statement every single time I wear it and I love the combination of this kind of cold nude color which is super hard to find trust me um, I talk about this in my video and damn <laughs> it is not easy combined with this kind of vintagey looking gold hardware so if you're interested in knowing more about this bag um, click on the video and uh, you'll hear the full story about it but also this bag I keep super super stuffed it is roomy, oops, authenticity card. It is roomy, definitely just a very basic inside, which uh, I always say like you could expect a lot more from Chanel, but it also makes the bag not be super heavy. So yeah, I absolutely love this bag and uh, no regrets on buying it at all. So here we have the Gucci bowling bag. And uh, this bag is definitely kind of in between medium and large. I used to wear this all the time to work because it definitely fit my lunch 
and all my essentials, which is super, super great. And I also love the fact that it's a top handle bag. So actually currently I'm looking for another top handle bag that's kind of more of a rectangular shape like this, but with a top handle. But this is definitely a top handle that I love and I like that it fits so, so much. I haven't necessarily worn this bag um, a lot lately. So this kind of bowling style isn't very on trend right now, but I think uh, it will come back. And uh, once it does, I'll definitely wear this a lot because I absolutely love this bag. And I have worn it here and there a few times, but definitely opted for some of my other bags way more. But now we're getting in the category of large bags and these bags are not something I wear on an everyday basis. I used to wear these type of bags like going to work and going to school, but since I'm just kind of leaving the house for certain things these days, I can get away with wearing a smaller bag, but I do love having these bags for traveling just because that's a laptop, my food, and all those kind of things. So this bag, especially right here, this is a Prada, and I absolutely love the color. I did fall in love with the color uh, first, and I like that it has the gold hardware right here. You can uh, kind of unbutton this part, which makes it kind of bigger and it does come with a long strap so whenever the bag gets like super heavy I just kind of put it on my shoulder and it's so much more comfortable to wear than trying to hold it with your arm like this or just like on the top handles and um, it is like such a huge huge bag like you can see you can definitely fit everything in here. I used to wear this bag in Berlin like almost every single day to work and I love it. It does remind me of that and also it's a perfect fit on top of a carry-on so whenever we traveled like this would be like my go-to for all our food and my makeup and water and stuff like that. This bag right here, Louis Vuitton Never Fall. I, this is a believe it is the large size and um, I do have the bottom reinforced with um, this insert that you can buy. It uh, makes the bottom kind of stay like this rather than really sagging. So I absolutely love that. This bag has also been my go-to for traveling. I actually used to wear it for school as well. It used to contain all my textbooks and notes and stuff like that. So I love this bag so, so much. I absolutely love that you can make this smaller as well. So just like this, it becomes a way smaller bag, which is awesome. And you can also easily fold this down for traveling. So if you're looking to invest like in a big, big bag, like this is a huge recommendation. It does come in a bunch of different colors and I believe it's not as expensive as some of the other bags from Louis Vuitton. So I think it's quite a versatile piece. And uh, like I said, you can wear it big, you can wear it small, you can fold it down, just take it on your vacation, kind of fold it in your suitcase and then pull it out and wear it there. I personally love actually wearing this bag on the plane just because it fits so much and the bag itself is actually super super light so this was my roundup of my bags and i hope that you guys like this video again i want to say that i'm not making this video to brag or that i don't think that everybody needs to own these luxury bags i just want to share with you guys what i like and uh, yeah i hope you like this video so until my next video i'll see you soon